In this video, we are going to take a closer look at solving for y. This will be going on page 29 of your composition book. So here we have several examples for solving for y. And we have this first one, negative 2x plus 2y equals 10. And we've circled this and drawn an arrow over because really what we're going to do is add 2x to both sides. And that effectively takes this one to the other sign and changes its sign. So it's move the x, change the sign. We change this from a negative 2x to a positive 2x, and we moved it from the left side to the right side of the equation, as we see here. So here we do the move the x, change the sign. Then we move down to the next thing we need to do, which is to divide by the number in front of y. Well, the number in front of y is a 2, so we're going to divide every single term by 2. After that, we need to simplify. So y equals 5 plus 1x, or y equals x plus 5. These are the same thing. We've just written this one in more of a um, conventional form. So for solving for y, we have the mnemonic, or I should say the, um, the chant. And what you do is you clap. Move the x, change the sign. Divide by the number in front of y. Don't forget to simplify. And so that's one way that we um, use to help us remember the process for solving for y. So here's another example. We have 10x minus 5y equals negative 15. We're going to take this positive 10x, move it to the other side by effectively subtracting 10x from both sides. These are going to zero out, so it really just looks like I moved that 10x over to the other side and changed its sign. Now I need to divide everything by the number in front of the y. The number in front of the y is negative 5, so every single term gets a negative 5. And then, don't forget, we got to simplify. So the negative 5's cancel. We're, lift, we're left with a y. Negative 15 divided by negative 5 is positive 3. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 is 2, and those are x terms, so that's a 2x. Put it in our more conventional um, way of looking at it, which is our slope-intercept form. This is y equals 2x plus 3. I'm going to do 1, 2, and 3 as it examples, and your assignment is to finish 4 through 9. So here we have, so if I can get this a little bit closer to do these examples. Here we're going to do problem number 1. Let me get the Go back in and see if I can get it to focus a little bit better. That may be a little too close for it. So let's go ahead and move this out some. And maybe you can blow that up a little bit on your screen. So the example here is move the x, change the sign. So basically we are subtracting x from both sides. These end up zeroing out, leaving 8 minus x. Divide everything by what's in front of the y. These cancel out, leaving y. Now we're in our, don't forget to simplify. 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. Negative divided by negative is positive. This is, remember, is like a 1 in front of there, so we're actually going to write this as a fraction, 1 half x, because this is going to be our slope, and so we want it as a number by itself, not as x over something else. Rewrite it in slope-intercept form, and we get 1 half minus x. For example 2, we have a positive 3x plus y equals 9. The opposite of positive is negative, so we're going to have a negative 3x on both sides, so we're going to move the x, change the sign by subtracting 3x from both sides. This zeroes out, we're left with y equals 9 minus 3x. But we want to put this into slope-intercept form, so that means that the x term comes first, and remember every number has a sign and every sign has a number. So in front of the 9 is that invisible plus sign. So there we have our second example in slope-intercept form of y equals negative 3x plus 9.
plus 9. Okay, and then our final example, this one has a negative 3x. So we're going to move this and move it to the other side by adding the 3x to both sides because that zeroes this out. So we end up with a negative y because there's that negative sign. It has to go with that y. Okay, 8 plus 3x on the right-hand side. Now there's that negative 1, remember, that's in front of the y. So we're going to divide every term on both sides by negative 1. These cancel out. We're left with y equals. I'm going to go ahead and do my x term first. Positive 3 divided by negative 1 is negative 3. And 8 divided by negative 1 is negative 8. So in slope intercept form is y equals negative 3x minus 8. So here we have our examples up at the top with our um, words to our chant. Move the x, change the sign, divide by the number in front of the y, and don't forget to simplify. And then three examples. Please have the other six items done to the best of your ability and have questions when you come to class.